And Mr. Pretty, let's talk about the Sky Car just a little bit because this is an airplane that I think is turning some heads here at Oshkosh this year. Tell us about this design and how it came to be. We have decided to start to design this aircraft very innovative in the concept because uh, around the world I have a lot of experience in this field. There are several uh, use of uh, little aircraft for uh, surveillance, uh, for patrolling, uh, and uh, nobody of this aircraft permit uh, an easy access, uh, comfortable flight. So we decided to create uh, a new airplane with the rear door, it's the only one of this size with the rear door, completely automated for the avionic, for the electric uh, capability, and uh, with a, a large range, seven hour and a half, and with a workload very low for the pilot. So we have uh, worked a lot on the design of the aircraft and the aerodynamic to reduce uh, the cost, to improve the speed at a very, very low cost because uh, several countries need to check the border, to check the maritime border, and they don't have uh, capability to do this with the normal aircraft. Very expensive. So. What do you see as being actually the market for this airplane? Is this an airplane that you would expect people to buy or is it going to be more governments and organizations? No, I think that this aircraft is a very multi-purpose aircraft because starting from the initial idea, we developed also other version. There is the aero ambulance, for example. There is the charter version like this. And there are other configuration that the client could need because uh, having the rear door, you can uh, have several use and different use of the aircraft. Was there a reason to make it a twin pusher design to put the uh, propellers on basically backwards? Because uh, there are uh, several reasons, but the most important are the, to be quiet uh, into the cabin, to reduce the noise and uh, to reduce the vibration of the propeller, because the vibration of the propeller against uh, the fuselage produces uh, large noise for the passenger and large noise for the pilots. If you consider that this aircraft in the pusher configuration have uh, uh, out of the cabin uh, all uh, uh, the noise of the engine of the propeller, you can understand how easy it is for the pilot and for passenger fly with this aircraft and how comfortable it is. Where do you stand on EASA and FAA certification? We are waiting the FAA certification for the end of October because we have had the last meeting in Italy three months ago and they have accepted all the tests we have done with EASA, the European authority for the certification and we have received the EAS approval the last December, and now we have only to prepare the paper in order to receive also the FAA approval. And what kind of interest are you getting, not only here at Oshkosh, but other places? We decided to stay in Oshkosh for the first time because it's the most important uh, uh, event uh, for the general aviation. And for us, it's the first time, and I hope that uh, we will continue to stay here for uh, several uh, years. We are also studying uh, the new version of this uh, Skycar, uh, the version for maritime patrol that will uh, call the surveyor, and the special version for medical uh, evacuation and uh, for uh, the transport of goods. Walter Priati uh, from Omos Sud Aviation, thank you very much for talking with us on Air TV. Aero TV is brought to you by Freedom Through Performance. At Sirius, performance is not simply the measurement of a single design parameter. Rather, it's a total package. It's optimum balance of speed, efficiency, comfort, safety, ease of flight, and quality. We call it Sirius Flying 2.0. Aren't you ready to feel the freedom?